Hello there, men, and welcome to the Masculinism Movement channel, the place for men to be men and talk about masculinity and men's issues. I'm your host, Brian Crawl, and today I'm going to be mansplaining to you about the meaning of life and what is called logotherapy. Many people these days do not have a great sense of self, life purpose, or meaning in their lives. Probably one of the reasons why we're having such a widespread mental health epidemic. Many people are simply walking through life in a waking daze, like zombies or robots or NPCs. You probably know a lot of people like that. Perhaps even you yourself have been this way at times. But is that how you want to live your life? No, of course not. Otherwise, you would not be here thinking about this now. You want to be a man, to be a human, to be a person, an individual, to have a sense of who you are, an identity, a unique sense of self. But I think most of us are in danger of slipping into the worker bee society role and falling prey to the routine of going to work every day, coming home to watch TV, and then going to bed and getting stuck in this pattern repeating until you become robotized. That's when you get transformed into a robot, in case you were wondering. And perhaps some people do not want to complicate their life with meaning or ideas or <laughs> anything like that and don't care about living a purposeful life or even knowing who they are or doing anything philosophical like that. And perhaps that's fine for them, but there are dangers of living this way. One can fall victim to depression, existential angst, despair, mental health conditions, and worst of all, remorse at the time of death for wasting your life. I hear these things from people all the time. Older people often complain about when they were young and stupid and reckless and they didn't care about living a meaningful life or personal development and self-actualization. and So they fell into the daily routine we are programmed into in this culture. And then decades later, they're in the middle of a midlife crisis because they wasted their youth. Living with a purpose is so important because it means that your life has meaning. You have a feeling that there is a reason for you to be here, a sense of belonging that is so important to us humans psychologically. You feel like you are living for something, which is a really great feeling that will propel you forward in life and make you feel good about it and who you are. This also leads to a sense of self and identity, a sense that you know who you are, which is another great feeling that will give you great confidence. And with self-consciousness, you will be able to master yourself and succeed much greater than most. Once you have the confidence of knowing who you are and having a good, solid sense of self-identity, and you can feel the sense of belonging and purpose here that you are living for something, your life will come to feel very meaningful. And living a meaningful life makes you feel quite elated. It's almost a spiritual feeling even. A feeling of higher being, higher consciousness, if you will. You are no longer a robot or a zombie or NPC. No longer just a mere worker bee of society. You are better than that. You are a person. You are someone. And you are living for something. Your life has meaning. And that gives you the ability to dream big and pursue your dreams and aspirations and become wildly successful. It also gives you the ability to self-actualize to the highest level and attain heights that only the elite usually get to see. But it all rests and relies upon the foundation, the base of your life's purpose and meaning. So what is the meaning of life? Well, that is different for every person. You have to find your own personal meaning in life in order for it to be truly meaningful. In the psychological science of logotherapy, which was founded by world-renowned psychiatrist and Holocaust survivor Viktor E. Frankl, he outlined three pillars of logotherapy. These three tenets will lead you to the sense of self-identity, life purpose, and meaning in life that you seek, if applied properly with your own free-thinking mindset. They are, firstly, the freedom to will. This means having your own free will and being a free thinker, not conforming to social conditioning and only thinking in the ways everyone else does or doing what everyone else does. It means having your own sense of beliefs and values, ideas and ideals, purpose and drive in your life. It means being an individual and knowing what you stand for. 
It means following your heart, no matter what. Once you have free will, you are on the way to self-actualization. If you're enjoying listening to what I have to say, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you feel I'm adding value to your life, you can also tip me at the PayPal link below in proportion to the amount of value added. Your support will help me be able to continue this work because the oppressive fascists at YouTube are against this kind of content and actively trying to suppress it. So it is only with the help of viewers like you that I'll be able to keep fighting the good fight. And then number two, the will to meaning. Having free will, you can use this will to direct it towards having meaning in life. Focusing your will on meaning and what your life could mean will cause your mind to explode into limitless possibilities. Having a will to meaning will begin to give your life meaning just in itself. The will to meaning is a powerful mental drive that will already make you feel very purposeful in your life. It may be confusing at times, but you will start to get a sense for the meaning of your life as you do this and direct your will towards meaning more and more and use your free thinking to give meanings to everything in your existence. And then you will move on to the final pillar of the three, the meaning of life. Once you have the will to meaning, it will not be long before it leads you to the meaning of life that you will derive from it. It may take some time, however, and in that time you may feel a bit chaotic, perhaps lost at times, but the chaos will start to clear sooner or later, and your will will hone in on the meanings of life that you delineate and derive from your will to meaning and the various meanings you are perceiving in your life. And then once you have discovered the meaning of your life, you will feel like a complete and whole person. You will have a great sense of purpose and self-identity. And you will begin living better, more purposefully, more successfully, more meaningfully. And you will begin to self-actualize and become your idealized self. But how do you get there, you ask, as this all sounds very abstract. Well, one of the things that Viktor E. Frankl also outlined that will help are the three types of values that constitute the meanings that we give life. There are three different types or sets of fundamental values that you must have in order to derive meaning from your life. And they are first creative values. These are values having to do with the creative faculties and processes of your mind. There are things like your ideas and ideals, your life philosophy, your pursuits and projects and things you create or think of. Anything that is an idea of yours or something you create, be it an art form or anything that could be called intellectual property, falls into this category. And more than that, the values behind the things that you use your mind to create as it is your creative values behind the things you create that gives them meaning and brings them to life. These creative values are just the first of the three sets of values that constitute meaning in your life. And the second is experiential values. These are the life lessons and morals you have learned over time and life experience in your personal history. So just like how all stories have morals, the stories of the situations that you have been in and the morals you derive out of them are your experiential values. Everyone has a history with a set of lessons that has given them wisdom and taught them what they need to know to succeed in life. And more than that, has socially conditioned them and programmed them into the person they are today. It is very important that we analyze our social conditioning and personal history so that we can depict the lessons from it in order to not only make sure we're not missing anything and allowing ourselves to be ignorant and get stuck in the same patterns on repeat in a vicious circle, but so that we can pick and choose the way our social conditioning affects us and focus in on the positive ways that we could benefit and learn from it. The values that you create based on your life experience and life lessons is a very important part of who you are. Many people say that their personal history has made them who they are and they are correct in thinking that. So make sure you have a good idea of what they are. And then lastly, the third value is attitudinal values. This is a byproduct of your experiential values and your creative values. This is the mental attitude you have towards life and everything in it and what kind of attitude it is and where it comes from. The values you place behind your attitude to validate it are a very important part of who you are. And this is what formulates your mental disposition and a lot having to do with your whole state of mind. If you have a bad attitude, 
you will validate it with some statement about how the world is a bad place, which will justify you being a bad person and cause you to have a bad life. And thus, that will be your meaning of life. On the other hand, you could use your attitudinal values for positive purposes by creating a positive perspective on life, which will lead to it having a positive meaning and you being a positive person and generally having a more positive experience in life. So this is a very strong pillar here in this triad of values, if you will, that make up the meaning of life. For this one really helps to create your sense of being in life and how you feel as a person. So make sure you place a large focus on your attitudinal values and have ones that will help you to be the person you want to be and give your life the type of meaning that serves this purpose. And once you have discovered your values and the meaning that they give your life, you can use that to create your life's greater purpose. This is actually a very easy and fun process once you have written down a list of your values and the meanings that they give your life. It really simply consists of discovering what you are most passionate about and then turning your values and passions into pursuits and a life purpose to accomplish. And if you enjoyed thinking about your values, then you can look very forward to the next video I have coming out for you in this series on the meaning of life, which will be on eliciting other core values. That concludes this video. Thanks for listening. I hope I mansplained that good enough for you. If you like what you heard, please click the like button. And if you feel you gained some value from this video and would like to give some back, please do so with the PayPal link below because your support helps fund me doing this work and fight the good fight for men like you. If you are ready to take the red pill and wake up from the matrix, well then, I have the perfect book for you. The Bible of Esoteric Knowledge is a super concise, dense, info-packed philosophy textbook written in the same verse format as the Bible, but combining multiple different highly esoteric philosophies such as Taoism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Shamanism, Ancient Paganism, and a special balance between theoretical physics and metaphysics, along with some special bonus info on the cryptic secrets of sexuality and death. This book will stimulate your intellectual philosopher's mind like no other, especially since it's a lot shorter and easier to read than most philosophy books made up entirely of run-on sentences and never-ending paragraphs and you know can be quite boring and exhaustive. Full of all the most fascinating mystical secrets of the universe, gratify your inner geek and quench your thirst for meaning with the Bible of Esoteric Knowledge. Get your copy at the link below for a special sale price today. Enlightenment has never been so easy.